we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. So this reading is going to be about the ex. It's going to be a little bit about you, but definitely going to ask the question why the ex keeps coming back, why they can't let go, what's going on between you guys. All right, so let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Cancer, let's see what is happening. Why can't the ex get over you? The five of wands, okay. And then why can't you get, when I was putting this card out, Cancer, I, I got like a, I heard like underbelly, a, a soft white underbelly, I don't know. It's like a, a belly rub or like a cat or something. So somebody likes to maybe have their ego stroked or they like the softness of this person's touch or just their personality. So Cancer, this is the reason why you can't, yeah, the Ten of Swords, you can't get over uh, maybe this person um, and you keep coming back the energy between the two of you is a four of swords okay the bottom of the deck we have the nine of swords so we got this is a test this is a trial of oneself will you change yourself okay will you allow for breakdown of the negative self of the low vibrational self so that then you can have breakthrough you know, it's it so that you can have something new here so that maybe you can even reconcile with your person, Cancer. Um, we've got, um, we've got Libra energy. We've got uh, Gemini energy. Then we've got Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So Leo coming up also. So your person, the five of wands, why they can't get over you? They're confused about something. They're kind of like confused within themselves. It's like competing. Their mind and their heart is telling them something different. And this is why they either keep coming back, they come back, they run from you, you know, they're stirred up about you, and then they go cold on you. It's just because something is confusing. Um, there could be lack of structure in this relationship also. Maybe somebody is desiring for more structure, more routine, more regimen, a traditional type of relationship. Um, somebody is still hanging in there or hanging on. Also, maybe because they like the, um, the competition, you know, um, they like the competition or they're up for the fight or they're fighting for what they really want. Uh, they haven't given up. Uh, they feel like this is a noble cause for whatever reason. Uh, they feel like they'll get what they want if they just hang in there, that they've got to see it through. This is just a, a, a tough time, a turbulent time. Somebody's not giving up for whatever reason. They're also a bit confused, also confused about maybe who you're giving your time or your energy to, um, who you left them for or... Um, they're confused about maybe the games that were played, the childishness. Also, somebody's hanging in there, hanging on because they've heard about the rumors or just the, the petty gossip that has been spread about them or about the relationship. Somebody's also hanging in there because of the playfulness of the connection. Um, somebody's like, okay, you know, I can play. I'll stay and play. Um, maybe someone is not taking it serious or your person is not taking the relationship serious 
Um, you're just one of many. This is why your person is staying or, or they keep coming back. The Ten of Swords is why you keep staying or you keep coming back. Um, I don't know if you're glutton for punishment or you feel like you deserve this. Uh, the Ten of Swords also talks about curse. It talks about being overly dramatic, uh, playing victim, victimization. It talks about the turbulence and the up, uh, up and down of a connection or the volatility of this connection. Somebody, you both could just be attracted to drama, um, being, you know, dramatic, um, pointing a finger at one another, making the other person the scapegoat acting as if you can't cope with the fact that it'll be over or it's over, but then you don't allow it to be over. Somebody doesn't leave, um, but they don't allow for the relationship to transition either. This just looks like two people who don't understand why they met one another. It could be that you guys are at war with one another, you know, fighting, you know, fighting the connection, fighting the love. It could be between the two of you, new love, new marriage, just newness altogether. But it looks like two people are um, headstrong, fighting, fighting for what they want. You both could want something different at this time. Maybe it has not been expressed. The Four of Swords is the energy between the two of you. So you both feel like it's it's temporary. It's, it's temporary. It's always going to end. The separation is going to end. The argument is going to end. Um... You just feel like, okay, this is just what it is. Both of you feel like the relationship is fragile. Like it could be at a place where, um, you know, the, the point of no return, like it's not going to come back. But then you also both feel like it's temporary. Like we just need to take time apart, space, maybe time and space apart, and then we'll come back together. The reason why there's so much friction here is like competing wheels. You just don't want the same thing, you know? Um, you haven't talked about it or you're going about it the wrong way or it's a lot of competition between the two of you. It's not camaraderie, it's competition. It's who's going to win. And it should the only winner should be those who choose to be in a relationship, choose love, you know, and not war not uh, arguments and fighting this relationship is fragile also because um between the two of you you feel like there's infidelity or there's somebody else or um maybe somebody's been keeping you know the affection or the attention of a third party there needs to be a deep healing between both of you you both need to heal individual uh hurts wounds maybe that the other person didn't cause it could be from your past Let's see, um, both of you need nurturing and healing and time apart. And you need to think about what the future looks like for the both of you. I think you keep coming back together, but you don't think about the future. Zero discipline in every aspect of your life, the heart chakra. So maybe somebody is like, okay, you did, you're just not disciplined. Back to what I was talking about earlier. Maybe your, your person comes back because they just want more structure, more routine, um, or they feel like it could happen. It's just temporary. Like we're going to get to a place where we actually deal with each other, you know, um, more traditionally, more in a routine. Um, it's going to be one-on-one, -on -one. but somebody has zero discipline. They just don't know how to calm down or settle down or stop the drama. Let's see. Your person could even be thinking that they can tame you, the five of wands. Where do the depressive thoughts come from? A heart chakra. We got a lot of heart chakra cards coming out. The toxic part is you keep letting me back. So someone is saying you're toxic. No, you're toxic. And somebody said the toxic part is you keep letting me um, come back. I'm going crazy without you. So there, there is somebody who is just this codependent altogether. This is devil energy, codependency, not really drilling down on the reason why you met one another so that you could heal your individual hurts. Can't make it up. I'm the devil spawn. Somebody just feel like I'm bad. You're good. I want you. I'm not going to change. You're not going to change. It's always going to be clash up a mash up, uh, just, um, craziness, you know, um, it's codependent too. I can't be my devilish self with other devilish people. Therefore I need my good person to come back or I can't 
feel like I'm taming the devil if I don't have my devil spawn in my life. This is absolutely, y'all need therapy, whomever this is. Um, ghost at you, but I'll be back. Yeah, somebody leaves, but they come back. They have all intention of showing back up. Your need for control causes problems in your relationship. So the solar plexus, somebody needs to have control. We need to have a long talk, a heart to heart. So definitely, you guys are not talking about the issues. You're just coming back together and having sex. You're not even reconciling. Reconciling is not that. Um, you're just hooking back up. Um, we got temporary breakup all over this reading. Nobody does the healing work. Nobody does the uh, the sacrificing. No one does the self analysis or the self introspection introspective work. You can't make it up. Your love feeds my big ego. Somebody has a real big ego. Um, I got the vision that of like a cat on his belly, like um, soft white under. But somebody likes to have their ego stroked. They like to have their belly rubbed. They like to have this good person in their life because they feel like they're the devil's spawn. They're not going to change. It's two dynamics coming together, good and bad, um, light and dark. Uh, but neither one is deciding to walk away. Somebody's up for the fight, uh, the fight for somebody's soul. Somebody's taking on a God-like complex. Not that they're going to be somebody's God, but I can save this person. I, I wake up with you on my mind. Yeah, somebody thinks about you. Oh, I'm about to call or text you. So someone is about to reach out. I understand that you don't want a relationship. You want the idea of having a relationship. So somebody definitely wants more traditional, um, committed, routine, structured connection. They don't want the status quo of fighting for your affection or your attention or being one of many. Um, somebody wants a real relationship. Okay. Um, Somebody used to feel like you were the best thing that ever happened to them, but now they feel they don't feel that way. I don't know if you feel that way, uh, cancer, or the other person feels that way. Um, but somebody, one of you feels like, I used to feel like you were the best thing to ever happen to me, but now I don't. Um, somebody saying, not today, come with something new and something better. So somebody is standing up for themselves and saying, I, I don't want this anymore. I, I want something new, I want something better. We need to push this relationship along. We were We came together or we met each other and it was, it is trial. It is tribulation. It is strife. It is stressful. Um, but it's also supposed to teach us something. This is mercury. We've got mercury here. How you guys communicate with one another is harsh. It's nasty. Um, you don't communicate the real issues. You skirt over the real issues. Um, you just get back together. You don't even have reconciliation. You just get back together and jump back in the sack or try to start where you left off, but it doesn't work. Uh, somebody, both of you need to heal. You need to do some deep soul cleansing, some heart chakra cleansing. Somebody just has no boundaries and it's not the answer. Solar plexus. Back here, we had somebody having zero discipline. Somebody just doesn't know when to stop. Somebody overindulges. Somebody is... Um, They just do whatever. No discipline, no boundaries. They don't even have a value system. They're not even valuing this themselves and definitely not this relationship. It's somebody here who's just lawless. And, and we've got your person fighting for the relationship because they feel like they can bring you law and order when they can't, they're not God. Um, and they, you can't let this go because it would be devastating, disappointing to you and you play victim or you're overly dramatic. These are what the cards say. Don't fight me. Um, this person was brought into your life. This is definitely going to be a trying of your faith, but also it was supposed to awaken you to your true self so that you can ascend and go higher. Um, you know, find God, whatever that God will be to you. But it's like somebody knows that they're bad. I'm the devil spawn. You know, somebody knows that they're bad and the other person is good. Somebody shuts down or, or walks away. I care for you, not love you. Sorry. Will you just take me back already? Jeez. So somebody is like, look, I care for you. I love you. I'm sorry. I'm not changing. Will you just take me back already? I do not want to do any type of soul work, healing. This is what we do. We play with one another for a while and then we put each other back on the shelf and then we come back together and we do it again and again and again. You wanting to ascend and be better. I'm not with it. 
this is what this is what I want. I want you to take me back already. And um, you're saying, no, not today. Come with something new and better. So it looks like two people are on two different wavelengths. And that's why you get the mashup. You get the clashing. You get the fist fight. You get the, maybe the verbal abuse. You get the volatility of the relationship. It's just like it's good one day. And then it could be a shit storm the next day. Um, somebody was a rebound here. Somebody dreams of a life with you. Somebody shuts down and walks away. It's not the answer. Somebody needs to heal this sacral chakra. Someone feels like, okay, if I shut down sex um, or opportunity for sex or just uh, close this person out, um, maybe even not just sex, but intimacy, um, I'm not letting them in on my life. I put up a wall, then they'll change or, or they'll come fight for me. But that's not the answer. You know, you gotta stand up for yourself and speak your truth. Also, somebody's saying somebody was a rebound. This is a relationship with two people who both need deep soul cleansing, healing, God, Jesus, Buddha, Krishna, all of them. I don't know. Somebody need to come down out of the heavens and, and talk to these people. Um, cancer, if it's you, um, it's okay. Uh, just, you know, raise your little Baptist finger down in the comment section. Um, if it's your person, um, it is what it is. I mean, it, it, well, it looks like both of you need healing. So it is definitely you. It is you for your own reason, and your person has their reasons also. Um, get your own personal reading, just like this over at the website level. Readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off, 40 off at the website level. Um, and then also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night where I answer your questions and I do a collective reading. Um, if you took something from the reading, if you got a bit of clarity about your ex, they ain't about yourself. You could give back. You could buy me a coffee. Yep, the link is below. Getting the energy of giving, of exchanging. If you feel like this was good for you, let the exchange happen. And if you're a business-minded individual that want to connect with other like-minded people, go ahead and join the KTMG waitlist. Yes, there is a waitlist. People took to it like wildfire, where we talk about how to start, uh, maintain, and grow your business using practical and spiritual method. All right. So take advantage of that. And if you just want to book your complimentary discovery call with me to talk about how I can help you, if I can help you go ahead and do so take the next step now. And then I want to shout out to a few places where I have high viewership and that is LA, New York, Chicago, Atlanta, Houston, London, Florida, Missouri, Dallas, Philadelphia, all right. So, um, shout out to you guys. Thank you. Take care. Many blessings, cancer. Bye.